Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John's 84, and hopefully you guys like the gameplay in the background. It's just me just playing some gauntlet. See how far can I go with the with the Green Bay Packers? And the the farthest I've gone was like uh, round 21 or 25. I think it was with the Cleveland Browns or somebody else. I forgot which one it was, but that's how far how, that's how far I've gone. 25, and it's a pretty much an interesting level. So, anyways, leave a like for that. Moving on to the main topic, which is the Madden curse. Is it back? Is it officially back? Has it made its comeback? I think yes. Look at Adrian Peterson. Where is he right now? He's going to be going to court for child abuse. Why? Well, he knew what he was doing, right? Well, he's not the first one who has done that, you know, knowing what they were doing and stuff like that. If you guys look back at in 2003, when Michael Vick came out on the cover, you know, then the following year, he got arrested for possession with marijuana, and then the following year after that, he got arrested for making dogs fight. Pretty much bad luck for me for there, like for that guy. 2005, Ray Lewis, he got injured the following year. 2006, Donovan McNabb, he had trouble with Terrell Owens. 2007, Sean Alexander, he got injured the following year, released after that injury. 2008, Vince Young got injured for the whole season after that year, and then he tried to commit suicide. 2009, Brett Favre. <laughs> we all know what he did. He sent naked pictures to someone. 2010, it was only Troy Polamalu that got injured for the rest of the season. Like he, he only played like around six weeks, and then he got injured. Uh, but Larry Fitzgerald was the only one untouched. You know, he wasn't affected. And who came out after that 2011 drew Brees with the bounty case the following year uh made his uh head coach be suspended you know sean payton and uh it didn't affect drew Brees, but it only affected his team 2012 payton hillis that guy god damn he started to suck right after that year uh 2013 calvin johnson wasn't affected and then we got Madden 25, Barry Sanders, and Adrian Peterson for the next gen. Now, this is just a big coincidence. Is it just a coincidence or is it just a Madden curse? Who knows? But we will know if the curse is back if the guy who comes out in the next cover is affected by it too. But as far as I know, two receivers have not been affected by the Madden curse. Calvin Johnson and Larry Fitzgerald. As far as we know, the Madden curse doesn't affect receivers. That is freaking weird. That is just so weird. There's no other receivers that came out in the Madden cover. Who's the other one? That's it. Terrell Owens was about to come out, but they put McNabb instead. 2K took, uh, took uh, Terrell Owens. So they decided to put McNabb in the cover instead. So, um, so yeah. In my opinion, I think it is the Madden Curse, guys. It is going to return, and the following one who's going to come out on the cover is, is going to be affected too. Imagine if Kikli would have come out like it was supposed to, but no, it didn't. <laughs> so, I mean, he would have had a lot of trouble too. But as far as I know, Adrian Peterson is in trouble, and uh, he's going to be out for the whole season if the case is not resolved anytime soon, which is going to be very impacting for those fantasy players <laughs> damn that sucks for you for sure you're out throwing computers outside your windows and stuff so yeah guys uh i want to know your opinions too guys is this the madden curse or it's just a coincidence or he just knew what he was doing but remember the other guys in the madden cover also knew what they were doing michael vick brett Favre, um sean payton from the saints they are new guys they are new Okay, okay, I see you. False level. You are out of lives. Benito. Dunzo. 